Hello guys, uh, now welcome to our YouTube channel. Um, the grave scandal see they go on. Two arrested as Uded SS official Storm Koza. Um, two on that five men that don't take into the custody of uh, by security agents. Um, because they plan to start up protests outside the Commonwealth of Zion Assembly Koza with the Abuja. The church don't come under nationwide interest since one of the members come out on Friday can say Pastor Biodu Fato Yibo um Ripa. Um Busola Dokalo, now be the wife of a popular musician, whether they call Timmy Dakulu. She can't say she was raped by Mr. Uh, Pastor Fatoibo at the age of 16 in, in Loring, Kwara State. Um, but the pastor, Pastor Biodo Fatoibo, don't deny the allegation and don't threaten lawsuits. A large uh, segment of Nigeria on social media can't dismiss the precious explanation. They can't stand firm with Mrs. Dakolo. Dakolo. Where we say she be mother of three. Um, the story still continue. The rape allegation can lead to the protest. They want to do today at the Koza headquarters in Abuja. But um, our security men no can allow that. Two main protesters, they can they come driving with black Mercedes Benz C200 salon will belong to an unidentified security agency shortly before 8 a.m. According to the witness. Um, Premier Time Council, they let us know Say they actually don't identify the agency where they're responsible for the arrests. But um, two witnesses outside the church don't tell Premier Time. Say that they angry. Say security agency start to clamp down a sit on citizen even before the protest begin. The protest the protest they plan by 8:30 a.m. Neither go start time and people will plan this protest now. Some social media organizers. The church, the country, see a lot of increase in security over this weekend, according to Premier Time. They say as the protesters begin to arrive, more security personnel also come. They come the headquarters of uh, Koza, waiting for Abuja. At least 30 police officers they there. Now they see around the church. About 20 civil defense men were also seen scattered between the church junction. On Mutala Mohammed Way, uh, and the church premises is a distance about 1.2 kilometer from there. Who dead men from the state's uh, security service SSS say they also day everywhere for the church premises. Um, the presence of some protesters considered the army to intimidate them with security personnel. About a dozen of soldiers also arrived the church 40 a.m. Today, Sunday morning. All right, uh, and the church entrance security agent also joined the church security officials to conduct a search of visitors and members of the congregation. Um, we won't go inside the auditorium, um, auditorium ahead of service where they commence at 9 a.m. Both men and women were asked to leave all their belongings outside, only mobile phones and only Bible. Now they allow inside according to premier time reports members of the congregation also they kind of decree in their in their in their stringent measure as um more unnecessary uh, problematic issue they come up anyway one witness called it say, well i've been attending koza church since 2003 and since then we don't they use this day doom in jabi um a female member, now they talk this one also, say, but this one, they too much today. This one, they too much. She, however, when they say, that plenty major, now they just they do necessary to prevent Mr. Uh, Fato Ibo, that is our pastor, um, they try to distract, distract away, according to the uh, to the member. He said, people, don't they try to blackmail our pastor for a long time. Now, what is she? They told Premier Time. Say, but two protesters today, don't, I don't interview them by Premier Time ahead of the protest. They say, they, 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 they demand accountability from the pastor, Pastor Biodun Fatonibo. He say, 
Dans les first two, the, the pastor, dans les first two separate allegation of misconduct since 2013. All right, um, now so we get to give now today. I beg me, I don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as we update to now more and more on what they happen around Nigeria.